Okay, so we have our cut fill map here. Uh, you can see that I've stylized this the way I want it, um, and it is created using a projected um, projected surface tool. So what I need to do is to uh, to get this onto a plan sheet. I need to import a plan set. Um, now, a plan set can be imported from this drafting templates tool right here. Uh, this is under drafting, drafting templates. And for example, uh, there's a lot of drafting templates here. Um, these are all very unique. Um, you pick the drafting template that you want. So the drafting template that I'm going to choose is this, um, this one right here, the one column in set grid. And you just simply drag and drop that into your view. That creates this plan sets um, drop down. We can expand the node and then we can create a plan sheet from here. So uh, what we want to do with this is right click and choose new sheet view. So we've got a sheet view open. You can see that this template was set up with specific um, date revisions and placeholders for names, icons, and whatnot. Um, so what we're going to do is get our 3D cut fill map on this 2D piece of paper to print out. So to do that, what we need to do is open up the cutting plane view that we used um, to create the projected surfaces. So I'm going to go into the point clouds tab, choose cutting plane view. Hopefully you still have the plane um, in your plane manager. Um, the plane that I created was called dam. This is a dam wall. And so from here, we're going to create a rectangle around our projected surface. Um, or our this would be a, our cut fill map. Okay. So very important that you choose the same plane that you used to create the projected surfaces and the cut fill map. So I'm going to do that by opening up my rectangle tool. And just give this a name. I'm calling it Dam DynaView because what we're going to use here in a little bit is what's called a DynaView. It's the same thing as a viewport. I'm going to put this on my, one of my um, layers. I created one called DynaView Boxes. So I suggest that you create a new layer and call it DynaView Boxes. You can leave the elevation at question mark and then just simply click in the corner one box. Click in the top to the top left of the cut fill map and then the bottom right just fully encompassing your cut fill map like I did there. Then you can close your rectangle tool. All right, if we look back at our 3D view, we will see now we have a rectangle aligned to the cut um, to the cutting plane. So we're done with our cutting plane. Now what we're going to do is go back to our sheet view and we are going to um, we're going to you know what let's back up let's close our sheet view and we're going to right click over in our plan sets on our plan sheets um, sheet set is what this is called we're going to right click on sheet sets and choose create custom sheet okay the sheet set is going to be buried under the plan sheets sheet set. We're going to give it a name, dam, cut, fill, and that's going to be inserted as the first sheet. Hit OK. And now we'll see a new node next to plan sheets called dam, cut, fill. Right click, choose new sheet view. Okay, it should look pretty much identical as to what we were seeing before. However, this is the sheet that we're actually going to be printing off in a little bit. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is insert 
our Dyna view. So uh, if we go under the drafting tab, we will see a Dyna view tool. We're going to create a Dyna view. Call it Dy um, whatever you want, Dam Dyna view. I'm going to put this under a new layer. Um, I wouldn't put it under the same DynaView boxes layer as I did previously. I'm going to actually put this on a layer called DynaView content. Okay. So two separate layers. The, the rectangle that I drew was on DynaView boxes. And my DynaView that I'm creating in, on my sheet is under DynaView content. Okay, that'll make sense here in, in a moment why I did that. All right, so now what we need to do is select a frame. Okay, we can select a frame from our 3D view. So switching back over to our 3D view, here's the frame for the DynaView that I'm going to utilize. So click in this selection box and then click on the CAD polyline or the rectangle. Now here we have to decide what our scale is going to be. So one nice thing about TBC is it shows you a preview. Um, if we go to our sheet view and click in the scale box, um, actually let's go to the location box. We'll see that outline of the size of our DynaView. Okay, so much too small. So let's change it to, let's say 10. Click in the location box. That should fill up the space a lot more. Okay, so we just click where we want that to be placed. It's asking if we want to rotate. If you don't want to rotate, just hit create down here at the bottom. And now that populated in our cut fill map. And zoom in here and you'll see all your cut fill values on, um, on your grid. Okay, so it's taking basically the uh, view that we have set up here in our 3D view and porting it over to our sheet view. I'm going to close my Create DynaView tool. We're done with that. And I might want to edit the DynaView size. Um, I can move the DynaView and I can resize and, and change the angle of it if I want to. This, is, this circle is the tool to move the DynaView to a different location. And then the box in the top right corner is the tool to resize it. Okay, that looks good to me. Now what I want to do is hide my DynaView rectangle. So if you had two separate DynaView layers, we can go to our filter manager, find our layers, and we can turn off Let's find it here. I had it under sheet DynaView boxes. I want to turn off the box. That should hide that rectangle. And then now my sheet is completed. I can print this off. You could add in other content here, but uh, basically at the point where we can print our plan set. So I'm going to hit print plan set. This is, again is in our drafting tab. The plan set that we're printing from is really just the only one that's been added to our project. We are going to print a single sheet set, which is going to be our plan sheets using my filter. You'll notice what happens when we choose all. Okay. Um, what it will do is it'll change your, um, it's as if we are printing out our view filter set to all. So it's everything, um, all the data, whereas my filter is what we had filtered on and off here in our, with our checkboxes. Okay, so I'm going to choose my filter, and then we have a half or full scale. Make sure that we select our damn cut fill custom sheet there, and we can print it to a PDF or physically print it off with a printer. I'm going to hit OK. 
and then in a second I should have a PDF that I can open up. Here it is. And we can zoom in here and take a look at our cut fills.